Guys, the Chickens here, bringing you another Boomage video. In today's video, guys, we finally found out the secret to uh, these five engine room bases and how to beat them very easily. So let's get into that in today's video. So. What I'm going to do here, first I got to move these shock mines because I just realized those are in a very strange spot. Uh, but the secret is warriors, guys. Warriors. That's the that's what everyone seems to be using at the top. And it's working very well. So I'm going to disperse these shock mines in a little bit uh, better of a profile here. So let's just go. I'm going to put a little line out in front just kind of. That, this is basically where the main landing area is. Uh, so it might force them to use a barrage or something else like that. Um, and then we're gonna spread the rest out kind of around these engine rooms over here and this should uh, help deter or at least make it a little bit more difficult for uh, warriors um, Okay, let's go like that and then we'll throw one right in there chicken. Okay, cool um, upgrades upgrades, so I'm gonna go ahead and max out the warriors. There we go and That's all we got uh, That's all we got room for right now so let's go ahead and let's let's dive into some battles and uh, we'll see where the video takes us, guys. We'll see where it takes us. Um, okay, so what I need desperately is gunboat energy because I do not have very much of that. Um, okay, let's go. Hmm. This base is kind of tough because he has a really good shock mine placement, which is not typically something you see all the time. Um, okay, let's go like this and like that. One and two. And then we're gonna go uh, right over to this engine room over here. One, two, and three. That should get most of them there. We're gonna lose Kavon, but that's fine. Um, okay, so now we wanna do a critter shock right here. And the critters were a little bit late, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna flare them all the way to the back. I don't know. Okay, yeah, they're all just gonna get roasted, but. Uh, if we had started off at the back, maybe that would have gone a little bit better, but, uh... <clears throat> I don't know. At least we got one engine room down. This guy's going Grenadiers. Of course, of course. We put the video on and the Grens come out. Um... Ooh, that's annoying. So, I mean, all he has to do is get one engine room. I don't know if he's going to, because we have a lot of defenses here, but let's see how this plays out, I guess. Um... So he's just gonna continually shock over there. Now, this Doom Cannon should come into range of these Grens right there, and it should just absolutely rinse them. Um, yeah, so he's going to try to get that down as soon as he can. Uh, it should get one more shot off, I think, before he's able to take it down. Look at this. Man, we got some value out of the Doom Gun. So now he only has two, four, six, eight. He only has nine Grenadiers left. I really don't feel like... Oh, okay, he's going to second wind some. Damn it. Damn that second wind. It's so useful. Um, I don't know. He might run out of time before he has a chance at uh, taking down our base because we do have a lot of... Um, it's not an anti-Gren base by any means, but we have a lot of, um, you know, we got our maxed out boom cans and we have two doom cans, so, uh, it should at least be pretty difficult for him. Um, but yeah, so Warriors, definitely very good, uh, seems to be what most people are using are, uh, Warriors at, at the higher levels and stuff. Uh, it's also good for just clearing out engine rooms and grinding out your chest too, because you're, you know, you're at least gonna get one, it's not like this guy where he spends 20 minutes. Uh, using the grins and then might not even get any um, Okay, he's he's going with more uh, second winners now the shock launcher is, is uh, killing it for us Look at that. It's shocking all of his grenadiers in one thing now There's nothing else in range of them, so it's not really doing anything, but it's slowing him down time wise um, Which is huge Because uh, he's only got two minutes now to get one engine room And let's see this. Is, yeah, this is gonna be in range the entire time here Um I think the only thing that's going to stop this guy's time at this point. God, this is frustrating. Um, yeah, it just depends. If he's able to, if he's not able to take down that shock launcher, he's not going to have a chance. <clears throat> and it, it, it should, um, it should essentially stop all of his, uh, any sort of damage from happening here. Oh no, it is going to, they are going to get it. Damn. Okay, so now we need this Doom Cannon to come into play. Which it's actually going to. Come on, Doom Cannon. Hit him one more time. Yes, there we go. Now, he's already used two second wins, so that means his second win cost is over 20 GB. So I doubt he has... Um, we're, they're still sitting on that line. We should uh, get some really nice Doom Cannon shots here. Um, 
You can take out some of those medics too. Uh, we only get one. The problem is if he gets one, he wins. So I really need that Doom Cannon to hit that purple grand right there on the top. Um, oh no, he took it down. Alright, so he is going to get one. So we are going to lose this. God damn, that was frustrating. Um, okay, so unfortunately we lost that one. But that's okay. Um, it's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. Sometimes you're just going to get hit with grins and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a long fight. It's going to be very annoying. But, um, it's part of the game. It's part of the game, so you gotta be ready for that. <sighs> Just wanna play warships. There's nothing worse than getting hit with grants during a video. Nothing worse. But either way, let's take a look at the tech tree for a sec. So what, what you wanna make sure that you're maxing out, or you're upgrading with warriors. Um, Kaban, uh, once you get him to level 4, he's good. Um, you can't get an extra ice shield upgrade out of that. Uh, but the biggest thing is gunboat energy, flares, smokes, and shocks. And troop damage. So that, that's going to be your big five with warrior. Every, everything else can kind of come in secondary. And I would honestly focus on on, on uh, just getting your warriors up to, up to snuff. Um, because that's what you're going to be using at the end game. So you kind of want to get used to using them and make sure that they're good and everything like that right now. Uh, one, two, three... Yeah, I desperately need to upgrade our gunboat energy. That is going to be holding us back quite a bit. Okay, there we go. One, two. Let's go with the med kit over here. We should be able to clear out the second one, I think. I'm going to sneeze, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, I'll let them just kind of run wild uh, from here and get a little bit of damage done they can. Get those extra destruction points. And let's go... Barrage on this machine gun. I don't know if that's going to take it down. Uh, okay, just barely. Just barely. Alright, so we'll take that. We'll see what Slop Kebab's doing. Oh my god, he's using Grenadiers again. Guys, guys, guys. Stop using Grens, for the love of god. You're going to give the chicken a brain aneurysm. It's not a fun strategy. It's just annoying for the other person. <sighs> So, the Grenadiers are coming in. God, I hate Grenadiers. Grenadiers and Everspar. Interesting. He doesn't have second wind. I would go with second wind if I'm using Grenadiers. You get that extra heal. You know, the Critters, sure, they can be helpful, but they're also going to die very quickly. Um, oh, okay. He's got a Universal Remote. Interesting. This Doom Cannon should come into play, hopefully. Why can't I tap on it? God, this game is so weird sometimes. There we go. Okay. Well. Took down that shock launcher. Once that sniper tower goes down, I think they'll actually come into range of the doom cannon. They might over here as well, I'm not sure. Um... Damn, so he's going to beat us there too. Well, either way, guys, warriors, they are very good unless your enemy is using grenadiers. So maybe the whole point of the video is just to use grenadiers. Maybe that's what we need to do for the next one. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one. Guys, chicken out. Crack, crack.